Hello everybody and welcome to more Super Smash Brothers Brawl! I don't know what episode this is so I can't say the number, but... Ooh, we gotta play Zero Suit Samus again. And Pikachu, of course. Gotta love Pikachu too. Zero Suit Samus is a little bit. Little, little bitch. <laughs> oh my god. I meant little pet. But it sounded like I was gonna say, ooh, are those ice guys? I can already tell those enemies are gonna be freaking obnoxious. I don't know if we've seen them already yet. But I remember hating them. Because anything that free... Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be really freaking obnoxious. Why would that be in this game? <laughs> yeah, that's gonna get really, really obnoxious, really, really fast. I can already tell. That's not gonna be fun. But whatever, we'll get through it, I'm sure. And I got kind of scared. I thought the ground was not gonna be ground. I thought I was gonna fall and die there for a second. But we didn't. We're okay. Look at this poor big guy. He thinks he's gonna die. Oh, poor guy. Well, that's because he is. Can I, I, well, I want, is the Switch controlling that, or is, like, do I have to kill him to open it? Okay, no, I guess it is the Switch that's doing that. That's weird. So I guess these switches turn the light on, but it also activates these things. Hmm, that's weird. This game has some weird, really weird mechanics. Some mechanics that don't make so much sense to me, to be honest. But hey, it's up to the gamer's discretion, not mine. You guys might enjoy weird. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh, no, uh, there's ground. Okay, good. Sometimes it's hard to tell whether there's ground or not, but that's okay. Where is this light? Oh, it goes down. I was going to say, I didn't know if it went up or down. Dude, her ass looks really nice going down. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> Since the arrow's pointing to that door, I'm assuming this is the door we're supposed to go through. Maybe. That sounds about right to me. It, it, it sounds like the plausible thing to do. Can I just not worry? Oh, there's a door right there. Well, scroll! Okay. I think those laser beams still hit me. I think I was just in the act of going through the door, so I'm invincible. Because, you know, when you're going through doors, you can't get hurt, obviously. That's like... One of the most known rules of society. When you're walking through a door, you just don't get hurt. That's just how it works. Duh. Oh, God. They already have my suit. They just have a different color. You guys have more style than me. Psh. Purple is so out. Orange is what's in these days. Psh. That was not obnoxious at all. Okay, so I, do we have to fight both of them? He's going to wait till the loading screen's over. Oh, they, yeah, we do. Okay, that's obnoxious. Since we know there are two dark Samuses. Samus. Samus. I used to always say Samus, but I guess it's Samus. But I, I guess I don't care, so I'll call it what I want to call it. It still shoots out, like, the orange balls, which is weird. You think it would shoot out purple ones, or, like, whatever color the thing actually is. I feel like that would make the most sense. Okay, good thing. Ow. Please let that Samus... Oh, that Samus is going to make it. I like how I say this Samus, that Samus. Like, you know what Samus I'm talking about. I mean, I'm guessing you probably could tell which one I was talking about there. Ouch. That was rude. That was a rude game. Hmm. Okay, so if I can... Uh, I was trying to time that so I could knock him off with a lightning bolt. That would have been pretty badass. But I couldn't do it and I'm getting my ass kicked by these guys. I, I There's one of them I haven't done... I, I think it's the one on the left there that I haven't done... That I've barely done any damage to. He's whooping my ass too. Oh, God dang it. This is fun. Okay, well that that's the bad one I think over there. Okay, he's not going to make it. No! No! Damn it! I thought he wasn't going to make it there. <sighs> That's going to be really obnoxious. <laughs> this is just going from bad to worse right now. I, I literally, literally can't do anything. I might have to end this as Samus. Would it be fine with me? I guess it'd be more intense. Oh, God. Death by trampoline. That's the worst way to go. That's just a shameful way to die. Oh, did he just throw it at me again? You guys suck. I'm going to use... Okay, well, I'm like metal and I'm like, I'm moving fast. This is really complicated. God. Whatever, this should be almost over soon. This might help. Mm, no, that was, I don't even know what that was. Okay, if I could hit him with this shell. If I could time it perfectly. No, I did not time that perfectly. <laughs> Oops. Oh, this should help though. And you're dead, son. Oh my god, that is so... And oh, Let me do this slow motion dip. Kaboom. That just looks hilarious to me. I don't know. Either way, that was funny. That was a great way to die. Death by bumper. I guess it's a little better than death by trampoline, of course. And now death by jumping off a trampoline. Death by just getting hit by a trampoline. I wonder how many reported deaths there's been by that. How many humans have actually died by getting hit by a trampoline? I guess I can see someone getting crushed by one. Because they're kind of big. But no, having someone throw a trampoline at you. I've always wondered, like, those, like, little weird deaths. Like, how do they, how, how often does that happen? 
I feel like somebody at some point in history has died by having a trampoline thrown at them. Like, what's another weird, like, choking on ice cream, maybe? I don't know, can you choke on ice cream? I feel like you couldn't. I feel like it would melt in time. Because, I don't know, deaths that you think would be, like, completely impossible. It's, like, it's fun reading about stuff like that, like, weirdest deaths ever. Not that I've ever read anything like that. Oh, that guy died. That guy died before I could have killed him. How sad. I really wanted to kill him myself, but I couldn't. Okay, and we're good. That was... See, parts like this are just obnoxious. They just, like, filler for time. Yeah, I don't like that. I've never liked when games just put in stuff that doesn't seem like it's necessary. Like, they kind of put it in just because it takes up time and it makes the game seem longer. But I don't know. I kind of... That's how, kind of how I thought about the Walking Dead survival instinct a little bit. I, I felt like they put a lot of stuff in that game. For some reason, I thought there was going to be ground underneath that. I don't know why I thought that. <clears throat> but like I was saying, I feel like Walking Dead has a lot of filler in it. The survival instinct one, not the... Not the, um... Oh my god, really? Ugh! I'm choking. Talking about Walking Dead is making me bad. The one with, like, Daryl and Merle. That one. Yeah, the, the not good one, basically. The one that's not all cinematic. Ah, oh, I actually made it across. I thought I was going to die there again. But, uh, yeah, the bad one. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's actually... I, I really enjoy that game a lot. And I, I think it gets a lot of unhate, unnecessary flack. The graphics in it are not good. I, I will say that. They do seem like they're last-gen graphics. Was I supposed to jump off there? I hope I was, because I did. But uh, the graphics are bad in that game. I'm not going to defend the graphics of it. But at, at a certain point, who cares? You know? I, I really... I don't give two craps about graphics. They, they really don't mean anything to me. And, um... To be completely honest with you guys... This might just be me. But I, I, I really do prefer gameplay over graphics. I feel like well, if the, if graphics were all that mattered, then nobody would care about the old Ocarina of Time game or Majora's Mask. What really makes a game is the gameplay in it. I feel like that should be an obvious statement. And so that's why I, Call of Duty, I love I like the Call of Duty series. I, I really do. I think it's a fun game series. What I don't like is that when I... It, it might just be because I'm like... I, I don't like to get myself a retro gamer, like an old school gamer, because I'm not. I'm playing a lot of Wii, Wii U games. <clears throat> and I suck at NES games. But my whole thing is, when I play Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 2, and I play Call of Duty Black Ops 2, or Call of Duty Ghosts, they don't feel different to me. They both have the same game mechanics. Whereas when I play games like The Legend of Zelda the Original, and I get that's a lot older, so I'll even say Wind Waker, and, I don't know, Skyward Sword, you can feel the difference. You can tell they took something and completely morphed it. And I get that might be because of motion controls, but even if we were going to talk about Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, they do not feel like the same game. You know what I mean? They do, they feel completely different. They feel like they're just different games. I've said that like five times now. Because Wind Waker is more of a cartoony type feel, and Twilight Princess is more of a mature feel. And so it does feel like at, that, at a certain point, um, I'm sorry, I'm losing my train of thought here a little bit. I was on such a good rant there, and then I lost it. At a certain point, I feel like the only difference between Call of Duty 2 and Ghost is updated graphics. And I... I feel like there's not enough in it that makes me say there should have been an next one. And that's how I feel about sports games, too. I feel like they update it yearly. And I get in some instances you kind of want to. You kind of feel like you have to. But because, you know, like, sports logos change and stuff. And I get, you know, you want to do that. But I, I feel like when you make a new game, I maybe I'm just kind of old school in that sense. I feel like it should be because there's something revolutionary different. You know? <coughs> And that's always been my big problem with the Mario series. I, I, I love all the Mario games. Like I said, I love all the Call of Duty games. I've played them all, I've beaten them all, and I love them all. And just kind of like the Mario series. Like I was saying, the Mario series has that same problem where a lot of the games, it, I don't feel like there's enough of a difference to really make me say, this is a great series. You know what I mean? But then when it stepped out of its boundaries with Mario Galaxy and stuff, it would be cool, and I know it sounds weird, if Call of Duty tried to do something revolutionary. You know? But it all feels the same. And you can keep a game the same, because I get it's a war game, a first-person shooter. There's only so much you can do with it. But I'll even sit there and say Grand Theft, or Grand Theft Auto, um, Gears of War did a great job of making it different every time. And I am totally skipping over this. Holy crap, Samus is getting her ass beat right there. That was the most violent, holy crap. How is she even okay? How would anyone be even okay with what just happened there? That was horrible. That was just horrendous. God, okay. That was terrible, man. Jeez, man. Okay. So this should work out fine. We should be able to beat Ridley. Ridley's not too difficult of a boss, so I think we'll be okay. 
but I don't know. I don't know. I was on a good rant there. I, I, I felt good to talk about it. I love talking about stuff like that, where I kind of drift away from the game. It's almost like I'm doing a podcast. I'm just playing a game kind of over it. That is what this feels like from time to time, which I like. I, I, I would rather make this a I say my opinion about stuff, and it's cool. I've actually considered doing a Call of Duty Let's Play at one point on my channel. I feel like it would be fun to do, you know, but I don't know. I don't know how great the response would be to that. Because, I mean, the games are not long. The, the campaigns are usually relatively short. I was almost going to do Homefront. I don't know if you guys remember that game. That game's kind of old. And that's actually what I mean. When I, I'm going to go back and say Call of Duty, it should do something like what Homefront did. I really felt Homefront hit the mark. It was a first-person shooter game, and I know a lot of people complain about the campaign. I loved the campaign. It gave you a reason to fight, and it... If you really pay attention to the story and watch the little extra stuff they have in it, there is that motivation to kill the people you're killing. It doesn't necessarily feel like senseless shooting. In Call of Duty, I've never really felt like the enemy is the enemy. And I haven't played Call of Duty Ghost yet, so maybe that game's different. But I've never played a Call of Duty game where I feel like the enemy has really done anything to me. It's kind of like, oh, we're killing this guy because we're in battle and it's time to kill. Get your guns out and shoot everybody. And I, I feel like Homefront didn't do that. Homefront, it had the whole intro where you were actually doing stuff. You know, you, you saw the bad, you saw the evil in the world, and you wanted to change it. And I thought that was cool. So I've always considered doing that game as a Let's Play, but who knows. Let's take it one step at a time. Let's stick with the Wii U for now. Or the Wii, I guess, because this is the Wii game, but I'm playing it on a Wii U, so. It looks nice out here. This looks like a Skyrim, uh, one of those, like, ruined temples. That little, like, area outside. Are we going to enter there? I feel like we're going to enter that inside area there, but who knows? Who knows? Hey, we got a Miles trophy. I feel like we've gotten like a hundred of those now. I'll see you guys later. We got Samus. Bye-bye.